Planet Fitness raises their prices for the very first time in 26 years. I wonder why. Let's talk about it. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan. And today we got to talk about Planet Fitness raising their base price from $10 to $15, a 50% increase. And this is the very first time they've raised their base price in 26 years since 1998. Now, the question is why? What's going on? Is it inflation? Is the inflation that we're all facing now affecting Planet Fitness? I don't really think so. Not really, because here's the thing. Inflation always happens. Now, does it always happen at the level that's happening right now? No, it doesn't. But after a certain point, you would think in 26 years, the base price may have raised one time or two times. Not at all. The $10 price point has been part of Planet Fitness's brand. Just like Costco hot dogs, the, the buck 50, that's never going to raise. It might even be a loss leader, but it doesn't matter because there's a bunch of other ways. They have the, the, the black card membership and you might be able to get training and other things and they can make their money up that way. Plus the sheer volume of people at the $10, it's fine. And it's hard to cancel your membership so you might not even go to the gym and still be paying you $10. That's kind of part of their model. So I don't think it's inflation. You know what I think happened? And I think they even admitted this. We're going to get to it in a minute. What happened was the whole transgender kerfuffle. Remember back in March when this happened? Let's put it on the screen right now. And just to kind of jog your memory where a lady was trying to go to Planet Fitness. And then it was a whole man, as you see right here shaving in the women's restroom okay let's hear from her to jog memory then we're going to get into an article in which talking about the whole situation a little bit more check it out good day i just wanted to say i just came out of planet fitness and um there is a man shaving in a women's bathroom i realize he wants to be a woman he gets to be a woman i love him in christ he's a spiritual being having a human experience he doesn't like his gender, so he wants to be a woman, but I'm not comfortable with him shaving in my bathroom. Now, this video went viral. It went all over the place. I think Libs of TikTok posted it on Twitter back in March, March 11th, and their memberships have plummeted. They suffered double-digit losses in traffic to their website. And I think their market cap dropped by $400 million, $400 million, all because of this video right here. And also not just because of the video, but because of the way that it was handled. They retaliated against her. They cut her membership off because she was uncomfortable with a man in the women's restroom. All right. So this whole thing was a big disaster for Planet Fitness. And now... As a result of membership losses, they're having to raise the prices of the membership. And this is an article right from back then. It says Planet Fitness value plummets $400 million after the transgender kerfuffle. And then the subhead, if you can't see it, it says Patricia Silvers, as lady we just saw, membership was revoked after snapping the photo of a biological male in the women's locker room. And I think they were trying to say that she was violating the space taking a picture in the bathroom and then posting it online. Well, he was violating his face by being in there, okay? Looking like Bob the Builder, a whole IT tech, a regular biological white male just in the restroom, chilling like ain't nothing going on. Go to the bathroom where you're supposed to be rather than in here with her. Now, here's an article from CNN. It says Planet Fitness will raise its $10 membership plan for the first time in 26 years, a long time. And you would think that if inflation is a thing and it always happens, that this would happen a long time ago. We know the reason why it's happening now is because of the transgender kerfuffle. Let's get into this a little bit. So let me see. Now, this is the class membership at $10, had a $25 thing. They, they're not raising a $25 black card. And to be specific, to be exact, the $10 fee, which is now going to be $15, that gets you into one location. All right. So if you want to go to another location, you got to pay for that specific place. You go to Podunkville, USA, Planet Fitness, 10 bucks. You want to go to Oakland, California for some reason, and you want to dodge bullets. Okay, 
pay 10 more dollars there or get a black card for $25, okay? And I guess the, the science behind that is you can go to multiple spots, not just um, one or two, all right? So rather than, they, they, they probably try to sell you on it. Okay, you want to come to this other Planet Fitness? Well, look, rather than paying just the $10 to come to this one, on top of the other 10 bucks you're paying, just pay 25. You can go anywhere in the country, not just to two spots. Pay five more dollars. But if the base plan is going to be 15 and you got to pay 15 again, then the 25 becomes a heck of a steal. Why would you pay the 15 for the other place? They're going to have to raise the black car membership probably to $40 or $50. Here's a different article from New York Post. Planet Fitness membership drops significant over transgender customer shaving in women's locker room. Heights prices. This is from yesterday, uh, Friday, May 10th, 2024. Let's get into this a little bit right here because they're going to tell you exactly what's going on. Now, it says Planet Fitness admitted it suffered a fairly significant drop in membership signups after one of its gyms unleashed a media firestorm by allowing a transgender customer to shave in the women's locker room and the company plans to hike prices by 50%. Executives slashed its forecast for sales and profits on Thursday, blaming in part the March 11 incident at a Planet Fitness in Fairbanks, Alaska, that went viral after the outraged member Patricia Silva posted a video about confronting the transgender customer. The first part of March was pretty good. Uh, CFO Tom Fitzgerald said Thursday after release of weaker than expected first quarter revenue. And there's your man right there again in the bathroom where you shouldn't be. But we continue. And then once social media sort of blew up over our policy issue, we definitely saw a change in the results in the back half of March. Joins and cancels were fairly significantly affected. The company ended a quarter with a 19.6 million with with 19.6 million members, an 8% increase from a year ago that missed internal expectations, according to DA Davidson analyst Linda Bolton Weiser. The company also saw a double digit drop off in Chapter Two's website. It is my hope that throughout the globe, Planet Fitness members will continue canceling the membership until this woke organization chooses to care enough about women's rights and for our children and remove men from women's locker room. That, that's that's what the lady said. That's what she told her on Friday. Shout out to her. Very good statement. Planet Fitness said it now expects this year's revenue to rise by four to six percent compared to the previous estimate of six, seven percent. It forecasts that profits will be up between seven and nine percent compared with its previous estimate of a 10 to 11 percent increase. They're not really hitting their targets. They're not really going to where they want to go. And they need to hit those targets to remain profitable and keep prices where they are. If they cannot hit their targets, then they got to do certain things to cut down on costs, closing certain gyms or whatever they got to do. They have to do that. Okay. Now here's the last piece I'm going to just read media mentions relating to the incident peaked in the middle of March, which we believe contributes to some of the softness we saw in joins for the balance of the month, as well as some increase in cancels. He added, the good news is we've seen joins rebound, but cancels have remained elevated. So basically, it kind of died off, and people have kind of forgotten about it, but it's not going away. The damage has been done. They lost an estimated $400 million in market cap earlier this year, and they have kind of tarnished themselves as a place where this kind of thing goes on. So I'm not sure they're going to be able to recover. That's why they're raising their prices. They know that they can do it because people have more money and inflation is a thing. They know everything's raising. So it's like, well, we'll raise two. They're not really going to see a big decrease in. They hope they won't see a big decrease in new signups because of the five extra dollars. And if they do see a decrease it, it might be kind of negated by the decrease they were experiencing anyway because of the whole transgender kerfuffle. But as I close, I want to say this. When you go woke, you go broke. For the first time in 26 years, they're raising the prices because of an incident at one gym. Now, yes, it was just one of their locations, and maybe all spots may not operate that way. But this will continue to happen as long as guys keep testing it.
they keep going in places they shouldn't be and women are confronted because usually, you know, I could say, well, it's a woman in the guy's restroom just as a man, but that doesn't really happen. You do have transgender men, women that are biologically XX who identify as men. You do have those, but it's not them going into the men's restroom. That's not what's happening. What's happening is you have men going into the women's restroom. That is 99.99% of the cases. And as long as that keeps going on unchecked and there's no real policy against that, you're going to see a lot of these losses and revenue and signups continue at gyms like Planet Fitness. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? Do you think that they'll be able to recover? Speaking about Planet Fitness after this whole transgender kerfuffle, Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. I'm not surprised. People don't like what's going on here. And they should create a policy to address this issue. Because to be to give them a little bit of credit, a lot of these organizations get caught flat-footed. They don't know what to do. They don't want to offend anybody. They don't want to break any kind of laws, discrimination. They don't want to get a lawsuit. There needs to be legislation from the federales regarding this. To where, okay... If you are a biological male, you cannot be in a space that's specifically for women. Some say that's discrimination. Well, hasn't it always been the case with a men's room and a women's room? That's not that that was never considered discrimination until the whole LGBT thing became a civil rights issue. OK, that's that's what's going on. You see where we're going. So at a certain point, we got to just draw a line in the sand where they don't go beyond that. And if we don't do that, we're going to see things like this continue to happen. And I hope nobody gets hurt in the process. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.